What's happening here? Hello kids, how are you doing? Once again, I'm back with the second part of our fun-filled chapter, The Shadow Story, Tagalu. But do you have any idea what these children are doing? I think they are playing an interesting game. Something on the lines of musical chair. But what exactly is it? <laughs> oh, now I got it. They are playing a fun game called Catch the Corner. Let's see what all happened next. Naveen started to <laughs> clap. Udit, Paramjeet, Vaseem, Naisa and Seema started running around the table. Run, 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 run. Be quick, Naisa. Be quick. Udit, what are you doing? Run fast. Paramjeet, move quickly. I don't want to lose the corner. I, I cut the, the corner. I cut the corner. I cut the corner. I cut the corner. Yay! But I lost the corner. Oh, so, so now, now it's, it's your, your turn, turn to clap. Yay, yay, let's start again. Vaseem missed out on catching a corner and was out of the game. Now, as per the rule, Naveen joined the game and Vaseem started to <claps> clap in place of Naveen. Wasn't that interesting and super fun? In fact, you can also play this super thrilling game with your friends. And now that you have seen them play this exciting game, it's time you answer my questions. Now my first question is, name the children standing near the corners of the table. We have four children standing at the corners of the table. And who are they? There is Udit, Paramjeet, yes, Seema and Naisa. Now, I have second question for you. Can you tell who will clap next? Yes, yes, you are correct. That's Vaseem because Vaseem couldn't catch any corner of the table. So now, he will clap next instead of Naveen. Well, now I have a third question for you. So tell me, where is Vaseem standing? Yes, try to recall, you have seen them play. He is standing between two corners of the table. That is, between Paramjeet and Naisa, you kids are super intelligent. I have to say that. Okay, here comes another question for you. Can this game be played around a round table? Why or why not? Think, think, think. <laughs> well, this game cannot be played around a round table because the name of the game is catch the corner and a round table does not have corners <laughs> so you are correct here okay another one for you name the objects around us that have straight edges you can make a few guesses you have seen around things at your home in your school can you answer me okay let me help you with the first one and you have to guess second, third and fourth. Okay, first one can be um, a chair. And what next? Tell me the second one. Tell me the third one. Or you can share the same with your friends. Don't worry, I will give you enough time for this. Okay, so many objects around us have curved edges. Some of them are shown here in the picture. Okay, you can see them. There is a ball, there is an alarm clock and there is a big pumpkin. Yes! So explore and share the names of such objects that you see around. Come on, 
You can do that. Do that with your friends, with your family, and see how many comes to your mind. Okay, now kids, it's time to think out of the box. <laughs> well, that's our another exercise. Tell me, how many corners do objects with curved edges have? Guess the answer. I'm not going to reveal any answer here because I've already helped you a lot. Okay, so let's move on to another question. Name the objects that have both straight and curved edges. I'm sure it's a little tricky one, but you can do that. I have full faith in you. Oh, you need help here? Okay, I can help you with the one, only with the one, okay? So, the best example that comes to my mind is of a cricket bat. It has both straight and curved edges. Hey kids, now it's time for another amazing exercise. And this time, we are going to have origami fun. See, I've arranged this table and some beautiful stuff on it because I'm going to do something different this time. And while having origami fun, I'm also going to ask you a few questions since you've already learned about the corners and edges. So, let's get started. Let's take a paper and fold it to make it a square. Now, I have so many colorful papers here. Let me pick one colorful paper for you. So, I have picked up this orange color paper and I position this paper in this manner. Okay? Now, can you tell me how many corners and edges are there? Yes, I'm talking about this paper. It has... Yes, you are right. Four corners. One, two, three and four. Also, how many edges? Yes, guess. That's right. Four edges. One, two, three and four. Now, let's fold it in half by joining two corners. I'll show you how. This way. I have folded it and joined two corners. Okay, so I have got this triangular shape. Now, you can also see in the picture that I have got some kind of shape. Let me give you a few options. Which shape is this? Is it a circle? Is it a square? Or is it a triangle? Remember, I have already given you a very big hint. Now, you have to identify the correct shape. Okay, so this shape also has some corners and some edges. Tell me, how many? Yes, you know about it. So, this particular shape has three corners. One, two, and three. Also, how many edges? One, two, and three edges. Now, I'm going to fold the paper again into half in this way. Okay? And then, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to unfold it. You must be getting confused what am I doing. But don't be. In a while, you will get to know what I am trying to make. And now, I'm going to make two triangles from corners of this big triangle. Something like this. So, how many corners you think I have now? Can you make a guess? Well, you have to make a guess and you have to give me correct answers because I know you're really intelligent and you can do that. 
So, now I'm going to fold the third corner upwards. And this is the third corner. Let me fold it upwards like this. Okay. So, you can see a shape is taking place. But right now, we don't know what exactly it is. So, I'm going to make the nose and the eyes. Be with me and see the magic happening. So, I'm going to make an eye here. Another eye here. And a very cute small nose yes something like this okay and ta -da! the shape is ready it's our beautiful paper dog did you enjoy this exercise well i really had this origami fun and i love my cute dog you can name it whatever you want wasn't it interesting and really fun? See, the dog is ready. Well, my paper dog is ready, but I can certainly modify it. And how? Let me show you. I'm going to fold it a bit from here. Okay, let me do it neatly for you. So now, this dog appears like this. I can show it to you from a different angle as well. Now you can compare which dog looked beautiful, this one or the earlier one. You can also for the feedback from your friends. And that was super amazing origami fun. Now you can do one more interesting activity. You can make your own designs with different shapes and color them. I'm sure you enjoyed yourself thoroughly. Next time, I will see you again with yet another fun filled chapter. Till then, happy learning to you all. Bye bye.